on an appeal by Amazon, a Supreme Court bench uh, headed by Justice Rohington Fali Nariman today stayed the proceedings before the Delhi High Court regarding the enforcement of an emergency award against Future Group's deal with Reliance. Supreme Court granted the stay after hearing an appeal by Amazon challenging the March 22 order passed by a division bench of the Delhi High Court, staying the single judge order which had directed the attachment of Future Group companies and Kishore Biani's properties. While directing the stay, the Supreme Court listed the matter for further hearing on 4th of May 2021. A Chief Justice of India, S.A. Bobley led bench uh, today refused to entertain a PIL filed by Trinamool Congress leader from Bongao in West Bengal, where he sought a 100% verification of EVM votes with the VVPAT trail. Advocate Pijush K. Roy, appearing for Gopal Seth, argued in the Supreme Court that free and fair election was a democratic right. To this, the Chief Justice of India, S.A. Bobley, observed that he indeed agreed with Roy on this point. However, was not inclined to entertain the petition. A special bench of the Supreme Court, headed by Justice L. Nageshwara Rao, today formed a committee of six members to primarily look into the quality and quantity of water being delivered at the Wazirabad treatment plant by the state of Haryana. The order was passed after Delhi Jal Board had moved an urgent application in the Supreme Court stating that there was a sudden increase in ammonia in the water that was released by the uh, state of Haryana into Delhi for drinking purposes. The Delhi Jal Board had also contended that uh, Haryana was not giving uh, the city as much water as it was giving earlier. The committee, which will have members from uh, central government's Jal Shakti Ministry, Delhi Pollution Control Board and Haryana Pollution Control Board, will be chaired by the Secretary of the Jal Shakti Ministry and a report to this effect would be submitted to the Supreme Court in a period of three days. The Supreme Court today uh, formed a three-member committee which would look into the feasibility of laying the high-voltage electricity transmission lines underground by uh, taking expert uh, technical advice into consideration. So the Supreme Court has clarified that as far as costs for this entire project is concerned, the feasibility to protect the great Indian busters from extinction should be the topmost priority. Furthermore, the court has ordered that the low-voltage electricity transmission lines, if they are not laid uh, underground, then diverters would be issued in those areas to save the great Indian busters from extinction. Furthermore, the top court has also ordered that henceforth any kind of uh, laying down electricity transmission lines uh, which is of low voltage will only happen underground. The court has also passed a slew of directions as to how the eggs of the protected species can be conserved in a better way. Supreme Court today handed over the management of affairs of Gokarna's Mahabaleshwar Temple to a committee headed by retired Supreme Court Judge Justice B. N. Sri Krishna. The order was passed by the bench in an appeal against the 2018 judgment of the Karnataka High Court, which had quashed the government's order handing over the management of Mahabaleshwar Temple at Gokarna to Ramachandra Prabhu Mat. As per the Supreme Court order, the overseeing committee shall consist of Deputy Commissioner Uttara Kannada District, Superintendent of Police Uttara Kannada District, Assistant Commissioner Kumta Subdivision Kumta, and two eminent persons or scholars capable of discharging their functions as members of the committee nominated by the state government, and two Upadivantas of Gokarna Temple to be nominated by the Deputy Commissioner in consultation with the state government. The Supreme Court has ordered that uh, the committee headed by Justice B. N. Sri Krishna will handle the management of uh, the temple in accordance with the heritage and traditions. After investigations by an agency, Center for Science and Environment revealed that uh, the honey sold in Indian markets by Indian brands was adulterated and often mixed with a Chinese component of sugar in order to bypass the standard tests in, uh, in this country. A Chief Justice of India, S.A. Bobre led bench uh, today issued notice on a petition uh, seeking action against the companies who are selling adulterated honey and also directions to the central government so that uh, adulterated honey is not sold in Indian markets. 
The petition in the Supreme Court primarily stated that the people in times of COVID-19 pandemic were eating sugar instead of honey. Well, that's all from Supreme Court today. Do stay tuned with Supreme Court today tomorrow as well. And don't forget to like and share barandbench.com.